friends and welcome back to my youtube channel and here's to olivia starting another vlog in her car but it is saturday and i believe it's the 13th because tomorrow's mother's day the 14th if i'm not mistaken and i'm at books a million and i will show you here books a million oh there you go you can kind of see the name backwards and crooked because i'm filming but yes i'm at books a million and i have never been to books a million in my entire life never that's a lot. That says a lot for being a book lover. So in today's video, instead of, like I said, I was going to go back to Ann Arbor to go to the Museum of Art, I have a little bit of a different plan because the weather is kind of feeling like it's going to rain and I'm just not about that live driving really far away from my house in the rain and whatnot. And it's going to be completely on like the highway the whole time. So instead, I'm going to go into Books a Million for the very first time and I have a plan to kind of pick up It Starts With Us by Colin Hoover because I read It Ends With Us and you guys, I did really like it. I would never read it again because it was too emotional for me. And then it was a little bit, how can I say, vulgar or just intense in a way. And I don't really enjoy reading books quite like that anymore. That was probably, I think I've, most of her books are kind of like that. So I've read a good amount of her books. And at this point in my life, I don't, I don't want to read things that are that intense, kind of how she writes. So I've been putting off getting it starts with us, but I've read a couple reviews and it seems really good. And I would love to know the background um, and kind of the, this is the beginning of how it all began. But again, I don't really want to follow the line of kind of that really vulgar writing that she can kind of find herself to write in. So not sure if I'm actually going to pick that up, but I am going to browse. I don't know if I'll actually get anything, but I am almost done with Catherine Bybee's When It Falls Apart and I am loving it, but obviously it's at the point of the book now where the main characters are in a little bit of a riff. So that always just like hits your heart kind of funny. But then I plan on starting Better Than Fiction, which I'll post up here on the screen. This one I was able to purchase last weekend in Ann Arbor. So this will be the book that I go into next. And then I am finishing up the audiobook, A Dictionary of Lost Words. But yeah, so my plan is to first go into Books A Million and kind of just look around and see if there is anything I want to pick up. And then I'm going to go to Anthropology. Fingers crossed if I can get down there and I can park and everything. But I'm going to go to downtown Birmingham and go to Anthropology because I kind of I want to look for like a funky mug I kind of feel like or cup or something or just kind of browse because I always feel like anthropology is that spot for the set really funky eclectic really stylish pieces and so I kind of just want to browse in there and then I'll probably grab lunch somewhere I'm kind of wanting a salad some salmon something kind of like that so I probably will go find a place to sit and do that maybe pick up a Starbucks drink or something because it is quite hot here in Michigan it is I think like 70 something degrees right now so I'll probably do that but yeah, that is going to be my day. That's going to be how it goes. Um, I have on some different earrings, you know, me and my pearls. So it is a little different for me. And then I have on like this jumper that I got from Target. I don't even know how long ago, but yeah, it can't be linked. But it's like a long like jumper kind of thing, long legged. And then I have these cute little shoes that I thrifted um, that are like moccasins. Let me see if I can show you that kind of look like this. And then this is like the jumper. It goes really long. But yeah. So that is what I have on today. Um, but I'm going to head into Books A Million. I will get as much footage as I can. I do find that I'm a little bit shy with filming in public. But, you know, I need to up my game. So I'm going to do my best with getting as much filming as I possibly can. And take you guys along for the ride. And I really do hope that you enjoy. And let's go into Books A Million for the very first time. Right, I'm going in. Thank you. 
were able to see the footage of Books a Million and Books a Million Anthropology. Now, I went into Anthropology. A lot of the stuff is super cute, as you can see. And it was super nice going in there. Um, very chill vibe, a lot of cute eclectic stuff. But the first time I've ever been to Anthropology is when I went to California last year, the year before last. And since like, I feel like California in some ways is like the epicenter, like the hub, just like New York City kind of for certain brands and stores and whatnot. I kind of feel like in those states and in the cities that are within those states, the selection and the variety is a lot larger. You know, there's more stuff you can get versus here in Michigan or in other states, you kind of have to get a lot online. So that was kind of a little bit disappointing. There was nothing in there that I necessarily really wanted to get just for that reason alone. But with that being said, I was able still to look around and enjoy myself. And then in Books A Million, I realized they also do have a membership program. So my goal is to eventually maybe get on their membership too. They're a little bit farther away from my house. And I did like the setup, but the one thing that I can say is a pretty big downfall for me personally is that I feel with Barnes and Noble and more independent bookstores or just smaller bookstores, they tend to place the books on the shelf with the cover facing forward so that the books go back like that. But I noticed that Books A Million, besides maybe a few here or there, the main way that they organize their books is with the spine facing forward. And for me, I'm a visual person. And so with getting books, especially if they're not like saved in my Goodreads already or the books that I know I want to read, I get pulled in and drawn in by the cover. I know it says don't judge a book by the cover, but honestly, that's how I search for books. So for me, it makes it a little bit challenging and I really felt like I had to scour the shelves over and over again until something kind of got my attention. But what I did like is that they have little tables here and there that you're able to kind of go and find a selection of books that they kind of curated on a specific table. And one of those books happens to be book number three in the series of Love and Gelato. And that was Loves and Olives. And what's really happy about that is that one of my nicknames is Olive or Oliver Live. Like it kind of just kind of goes in hand. My name actually means Olive Tree, if I'm not mistaken. So that kind of is what drew me in. And then I thought the aesthetic of the book was super cute. But this is book number one, Love and Gelato. Book number two is Love and Luck. And book number three is Love and Olives, as you can see right there on the back. And this is a YA book, but when I was in the store, I was kind of searching for something that gave me adventure and like travel just because I feel like this time of year is just like it's going into the season where people are traveling like I'm going to be traveling soon. I plan to like book some more travel towards the end of the year for myself. So it's like this is kind of the time to kind of start looking at things, you know, like just the adventure of it all and just the newness of everything. That's kind of the vibe I was going for in terms of like what I've been reading lately and things that I've been interested in. And then I came across this book here and it really drew me in. And so I'll just read you the back of what it says, but it says, I made the wrong choice. Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. She's only there because it was her mother's dying wish that she get to know her father. But what kind of father isn't around for 16 years? As Lena wants to do, all Lena wants to do is go back home, but then she is given a journal that her mom kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly Lena's uncovering, suddenly Lena's uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. A world that inspires her along with an ever so charming Wren to follow her to follow in her mother's footsteps and unearth the secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything Lena knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. People come to Italy for love and gelato. Something tells her, or someone tells her, oh my gosh, my reading, someone tells her, someone tells her, but sometimes they discover much more. My reading is sucky today. Sorry about that. But that is kind of the kind of whole vibe of this book and I actually find it to be super intriguing and quite interesting and then I do love kind of how the inside of the book is placed. What I can say is that with the actual pictures I do feel like the font is like really spread out like from 
around the edges kind of as a normal book was almost as if it's like a child's book in the way which is kind of interesting but I do think for those who struggle with having glasses and like their eyes and whatnot I think it could be nice in that sense but yeah so I'm super glad that I picked this up and I'm excited to dive into it and read it and obviously you know me when I get it done I'll talk about it I'm nearly done with one of the books I'm reading so you know we kind of have to go in an order here she's trying to get back into like that love of reading and finding things that she wants to read although I know I have a huge physical TBR list at home you don't have to remind me I know it's so big but I just I need to develop that passion again for it so I've kind of just been diving in and purchasing things that I know I want to read and hopefully slowly but surely I'll kind of dive into that but regardless I also went to Starbucks and this is not a Starbucks drink that they make per se this is one of those little juices that are in near like the cheese sticks and protein bars but I got a cup of ice and poured it in it's really good but there is an ingredient in here um that starts with an A if I can find the picture of the bottle I'll post on the screen then put the name on the screen I don't want to say I have an allergic like I'm allergic to it but I'm not gonna lie the side of my tongue is feeling some type of way Am I going to continue to drink it? Yes. Could I regret this? Yes. But it was $5. So I'm going to keep drinking it. And I guess if I notice the side of my tongue continuing to hurt, I will stop drinking it. But maybe I have like a slight allergy to it. It could be like a citrus kind of flavor that's throwing me off. But the restaurant in downtown that I wanted to go to was a complete bust in Birmingham because it's so packed. So I'm going to go to one of my tried and true favorite locations, Lily Seafood. I feel like you guys came with me to one of these when I did a Harry Potter reading vlog, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I absolutely love the restaurant. So I'm going to go there and get myself a really good salad because they have an Asian glaze salad, like an Asian crispy chicken salad. They also have salmon I can do on a Caesar. And then there's a really cute shop, which I've also taken to you guys before on any some other vlogs, is Rail and Anchor. And I do want to pop in there because I know that they do switch their pieces up. And that'll probably conclude the rest of this vlog unless I choose to like go to a little coffee place and kind of sit. But we'll see. It's getting later in the day. I do have some laundry I want to get done. Little bits and bobs kind of stuff like that. But yeah, let's get going. Alright guys, so future Olivia here. I just wanted to hop in really quick. I'm on my way to work and I decided that why not give you guys a little bit of a reading update within this video and talk to you about the, um, talk to you about the books that I'm reading. So I'm almost done with it. I'm going to have a reading vlog up hopefully this weekend. That's the plan. I've been so busy with this new job and it's just like, worn me out that like I don't have much to give to anything else but I have been reading <laughs> and so that book it's turning out really good it's when it falls apart and I'm at the part now I guess you could say or the little update I want to give you is where the part of the story when parts of the story like when stories you read when they get to that one part that's kind of just like dang why do you have to go through this like why do we have to get through the sad parts or like the annoying parts or the frustrating parts of the book you know what I mean why can't it just stay nice and consistent the whole way through why can't it be sunshine and roses the whole way through and I felt literally like the first 75% of the book is literally sunshines and roses obviously there's some parts that are kind of like oh that's kind of sad or kind of frustrating for the main character and I guess for the second main character in the book but they're just like little blips in the row that you kind of like that makes sense that are kind of just adding depth and background to the story but they're not necessarily something that's you know um that's so sad that there's nothing we can do about it or they're not things in the story where it's like you are feeling like your emotions are being tugged on you know what I mean just like that so then we got to the part now where it's a little bit sad so basically when it falls apart is about a main character she's living somewhere she's taking care of her sickly father and the guy that she's with is a jerk pretty much he's making her feel terrible like he doesn't want to be there for her or help her or encourage her in any way shape or form her dad is sick she has to often go help her dad and he's a really non-committal man in the first place I don't even know why he's making such a big deal about the fact that she's helping her dad but he is and he doesn't want to settle down he's kind of like one of those guys who's like marketing and like literally works from home and like travels the world and she kind of wants to settle down she's older than him and that's kind of the gist that we're in so her dad gets really sick and she leaves and she just like breaks it off she's like I'm tired of it you're inconsiderate you're insignificant you're insignificant to my life you know 
You would think that if something was wrong with my dad, you would be there for me. That's the normal thing that you do when something is wrong with someone that you care about. But he wasn't. So she left, she went to Little Italy in San Diego or in California and I believe San Diego and she, her best friend comes, moves her there, like she's taking care of her dad and she meets this amazing man. And he obviously has his own issues, his own things. He's a single dad, you know, that ended and was went really terrible for him. So he's kind of going through that. He doesn't really trust anyone. They own an Italian restaurant in Little Italy. Like his family is so close knit. It's just like a perfect thing. And this lighting is absolutely terrible, sorry. But that's kind of what he's going through, you know, right now. So she ends up coming to the restaurant and meeting, um, and meeting, you know, his mother and they start, you know, talking and she kind of expresses the fact that she's looking for a place, which so happens to be a free apartment on top of the restaurant because they all live above the restaurant. And there's a third floor with a free apartment and that's like no one's taking it. So her mom kind of rents it out to her in the hopes that this girl that her mom just instantly falls in love with is like the perfect match for her son. So, you know, there's a little tension and annoyance of who's this person, who you move in. And eventually when he notices, he's like, whoa, wow, I never thought about that. Like, that's okay. So obviously they kindle a little romance and it's so beautiful and it's just so happy and so sweet, the whole entire book. Then she has to go on a work trip because she is a journalist or a freelance journalist. So she's on a work trip doing her own thing and the mother of the little girl walks back into her life. So then you're kind of at that where she's a hundred million miles away. It seems like he's there. He loves this new lady. Like he's not going back, but how can he show that to her with her being so far away and she's had so much hurt. She's dealt with so many negative things. And then how can he also make it clear that it's not going to be what it used to be to the woman that he's already with? So that's a little bit frustrating. And then you're like, I don't know how it's going to end. Is he going to actually do something he's not supposed to do? Like, are we going to get mad at him too? Is she going to take him back? Like, I just don't really know. This girl has history of dealing with men who are jerks. So I just don't know how it's going to go. But in my heart of hearts, I'm just hoping that it ends really well. So that's basically the update of the book. That's where I'm at. I'm loving it. I'm interested in it. I cannot wait to finish it to give you my full <laughs> this spiel on the book and to talk to you about it. And then, like I said in the intro that I was trying to end this book or the intro that the ex the outro that I was trying to end this video you're gonna see it I'm gonna be telling you that I have a goal to then start the love and gelato series book number one I believe that's what it's called I'll post a picture but yeah I definitely think that'll be the next book I read I did get a couple books over the past couple of weeks that um I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in a video here or there, so I might read one of those too. I don't know, but I definitely think the Love and Gelato will be the next book that I kind of, book number one will be the next one I jump into. And then I want to finish up reading um, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I feel like it's springtime, it's nearly summer, but I'm just really ready. The flowers are blooming, so I definitely think I want to dive into that book. Um, but yeah, that's basically where we're at. And I do really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm super glad that you guys are here. Um, traffic is super annoying this morning, but it's good. We're going to go to work. We're going to have a good day. And I will catch you guys hopefully this weekend, fingers crossed, when I do my full review on When It Falls Apart and whatever else I decide to kind of throw in that video for you guys. But I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. All right, guys, so it is the end of the video. Um, it took me a couple days to end it, but I ended up going on this really nice walk. I'll make sure I post some footage of that. But it was really nice going to Anthropology, going downtown. I did not get any footage of my food, although I said I was gonna get some, so I'm sorry about that. But the salad that I got from Lily Seafood was so good. But it is Sunday now, I'm on my way to church. I'm going to get this video edited so I can get it up for you guys. And if you enjoyed it, please not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the Bookish Fam because we're so nice and we have so much fun together. And stay tuned because I'm literally on the last few chapters of When It Falls Apart by Katherine Bybee. So there'll be a review video and just like a reading vlog of that coming out. And I think I'm gonna start the Olive and Gelato or Love and Gelato series. I think that's what it's called. I'll post a picture of the book that I have here, but I think that might be the next book that I'm gonna start reading, but I do hope that you guys enjoy. I know that I don't post as frequently as I want to, but I post what I can and when I can, I hope that it brings you some form of joy and happiness. So without further ado, I will catch you in my very next video.